Just going to go over how to set the timing on a CPU 90 ignition on a Canadian gas jack. This is a CPU 90 box. There are two toggle switches in it. One's for high and extreme high for spark output, 120 to 160 volts. There's no reason to go more than high on it for spark output. This one's to retard the timing, the pot RPM loop. So you flick the toggle switch down and your light will come on here and that retards the timing 15 degrees if you've got the yellow dial set at F for max retard. So that's for a cold start on the gas jack. You would flick the switch down, the light comes on, the yellow dial set at F for max retard. Once the engine's hot, there's no reason to flick the retard switch down. So it can just stay in the off position. How to set your main timing, once you've got everything done with the pickups, is this white dial. You got zero, it's kind of a little hard to see, zero to nine on this little white dial, and that'll allow you to dial in your timing to 38 degrees. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is roll the gas jack over till it's on the compression stroke on number one cylinder. So I just removed the number one spark plug, that's at the front of the engine here. Roll it over in the direction rotation with your pipe wrench. Always put your pipe wrench on in the direction rotation just in case you ever forgot it on there. That way it uh, won't catch on the on the tail shaft. Turn it over to your number one compression, and then you'll see your Hall Effect pickup. So you got a distributor pickup on this ignition system, and it's lined up with the with a magnet here on the pickup. And then that's lined up. You should be about 50 to 60 degrees before TDC. So I've got a white mark at 38 degrees. That's where we want to set the timing once we got it running. But when I've got everything lined up here, I'll be at 50 to 60 before TDC on the compression stroke on number one. I just uh, put my finger in the spark plug hole or a compression tester, turn the engine over and make sure I'm on the compression stroke, not the exhaust stroke. On the bell housing of the unit, there's three pickups. There's a ring gear tooth counter and a reset pickup and an RPM pickup. Kind of hard to see here. There's the three pickups on the bell housing. Depending on who drilled the bell housing, 90% the top pickup, the highest one up on the engine, is your reset pickup. This is the one that has to be dead center in the hole when my Hall Effect pickup on the distributor is dead lined up. And that should be at 50 to 60 before TDC on the dampener down there. So that tells you that everything's in line and then you can adjust, start it up and it'll run from there. The RPM, is the very bottom one on this unit. So there's one pin in the flywheel. That's the same pickup, the pickups pick up on the same pin on the flywheel, just the one pin. And then your ring gear tooth counter. The reset pickup cable and the, and the ring gear tooth counter both go to that CPU 90 ignition box. And I'll show you where to find those wires in it. So we'd find out which one is, in case it's drilled, could be the bottom one, could be the top one. 90% is the top. But you'll know because when you get the when you got the pin on the flywheel dead center in the hole and you come look, you should be 50 to 60 degrees before TDC. And then you know you got the right hole on the bell housing and then you go ahead and line up your Hall Effect pickup from there. To figure out if you missed, didn't write down the cables on the bell housing and you, and you didn't mark them, just track the braided cables back to your CPU 90 and then look in the bottom of the box and you'll be able to track gear tooth counter find the wires which one they go down okay that's the one for the gear ring gear tooth counter the other one says uh, reset pickup black trace it down it probably comes with this one trace it back okay that's a that's a reset pickup and that's about as simple as the ignition boxes and how to set the timing most important thing is make sure you're on the compression stroke when you're setting all this so you run to roll it over, make sure you're on the compression stroke, get close to TDC, and then you're getting close, find the pin that's in the, that's in the bell housing for your reset. It should be 50 to 60 degrees before top dead center. And then you can go ahead, put the pin dead center in the, in the bell housing and go ahead and set your Hall Effect pickup to match.